Well, it's a holiday weekend, everybody, and uh, certainly that feels a little bit different right now than it might normally, but uh, a three-day weekend is still a three-day weekend, and we certainly thank everyone for spending the very start of yours with us here on Band Together. Thanks so much for tuning in, and happy to early wish everybody a uh, happy Memorial Day on Monday, a uh, happy and safe Memorial Day. Uh, I know there's a lot of excitement this weekend over uh, a lot of phase two reopenings around Sacramento. A lot of restaurants are starting that uh, early process of opening up for seating. Um, unfortunately, as it comes to the music world, we know it's still going to be a little while before we can gather at places like Holy Diver and uh, get shoulder to shoulder and get sweaty and uh, and rock out on Friday nights like we usually do. So that still is a ways off. So we're uh, certainly happy tonight to have this edition of Band Together, which is going to feature Dalton James, St. Juniper and Flight Mongoose. And tonight's lineup has been curated by our friends over at Holy Diver. And uh, tonight, we are extremely happy to welcome one of the co-owners of Holy Diver, Anthony Paganelli, who also goes by Pag. Pag, how are hey, you doing? Up? Good, how are you? Good, man. Thanks so much for joining us. How, uh, how's everything going over there in this uh, these lockdown times? Uh, you know, <laughs> it's locked down. Everything's closed. So, mm -hmm. um, But uh, like I was talking to you prior to um, this live interview, um, we're going to try to open up as a, as a bar restaurant for a little while until we can get live music going again, which mm -hmm. hopefully sooner than later. I mean, we're going to try to work on some different things. Maybe get, we have, we have some ideas we're working on and see what we can do to get some mm -hmm. live music back in the building. But yeah. Yeah. I know it's kind of a total mystery for everybody right now as far as the total mystery. we're going to be able to get back and, and what that's going to look like. Yeah. We have yeah. no idea. Yeah. yeah. But still got those uh, Holy Diver pizza slices serving uh, or soon to be right. Well, actually we're making a menu change. That's oh, part nice. of the, yeah, yeah, we are making a menu change. We're working on some details. Uh, worked on it pretty much all day today. So um, I'll have information regarding that soon. But yeah, we're going to try some different things. Um, I'm, I'm excited about the different things we're working on, too. It should be something new for Sacramento. I don't, there's a, maybe only a few other places doing it. So it should be kind of cool. Um, and then, yeah, uh, we'll see if we can get people in there and having some beers and some food. Maybe listening to music that's just pre-recorded instead of live. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, we're working on some details, maybe some new ideas. Uh, maybe playing some pre-recorded older live, uh, you know, shows, concerts from some bigger writer bands, and mm -hmm. I don't know. We're just going to work it out, and we're just going to rely heavily on uh, the musicians and and the support we've had over the years to come in and have a drink, reminisce about maybe a show you saw before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my, yeah. My, now more than ever, all the local places need need help, right? We're all we're all struggling, so we all know that. So yeah, definitely. You know, once we get reopened, come in, hang out, have some drinks, have some food, mm -hmm. and keep us alive until the day we can have live music again, and then it'll be all good. <laughs> Speaking of reminiscing, like, I know the, the shows that you guys did before everything went to hell, the shows that you guys have been hosting uh, in yeah. December, just bringing so many of these Sacramento bands out of the woodwork from like the 2000s. Like, oh, you know, yeah, that was cool. back when it was the townhouse, you know, I, th those yeah. have been amazing. How, how did that all start? Was that a conscious like, hey, let's get some of the, the guys back yeah. together? Yeah, yeah, it actually was. Eric and I had talked about doing some reunion shows a few years ago. and We kind of like hit up a couple of bands and uh you know nobody really responded and then i i did i was in a band called tenfold and we had uh, an, a member pass away but it, it what what it did was it sparked us all to start talking again and then we went and did a reunion show we brought back fallacy mm -hmm. i don't know if you remember fallacy yeah. they, from the deftones band from high school so fallacy and uh the snobs which was like an offshoot of the filibuster guys Mm -hmm. And then, so that I won't that lie, that's of, why I was there. One of my favorite locals of all time, snobs. No, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they're fucking fan I don't know if I can say. they're fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> they're fantastic. I love Jason Boggs and Andy, I love all those guys. So, yeah, that was it was a really fun show. And then, I think what happened was, I think some of the older bands saw that we did it and it came out kind of cool. So, we decided to do it the next year. And I was in a band called Shorty too, so we did the Shorty reunion and then. Yeah, the next night we had what A four seven on it. Um, Bright light fever, I bright think. light fever. Uh, long drive home, and yeah, the quitter guys did the next night. It was 
it was awesome, dude. I, yeah. I was thoroughly stoked. But now we're like, okay, now we got to really think about the following year, what, what we're going to do for reading yeah. shows. So, so yeah, and you, and you guys totally have that kind of nostalgia end covered. But also, I know you've been hosting a ton of local showcases and really yeah. kind of establishing the venue as a hub for, for the up and coming. No one's heard of them yet, locals. It's been great yeah. We see. started that. We started that as a just a kind of a an idea. Eric and I were shooting around of doing like low dough shows, like five dollar shows, um, or free shows. And uh, I know a lot of the bands that are actually playing this thing tonight had spoke to me, and I booked them on some five dollar shows or had them open for other shows. So mm -hmm. I I thoroughly enjoy each of the artists that are going to be performing on this show tonight. Um, yeah, it's just a good way of getting young bands in the door. Maybe they've never performed before. Maybe they've only performed a few times. Mm -hmm. Get them in there and kind of show them how it goes. You know, like they maybe have never played in front of people at a real actual music venue. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe they have and they just want to take the next step. And it kind of shows us, you know, what they're doing. And if they're cool and professional and great guys, a great band, then we have them open up for larger shows, you know. So it's a cool stepping stone, and I enjoy booking it because you know, I get to see all these new local bands and hear all this new rad local music. So, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. well, looking forward to when things come somewhat back to normal and it, it all can continue, man. But yeah, thank you so much for, for coming on and for putting the show together tonight for us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah follow us on uh, all our social medias, please. And once we get open, uh, please come in, show some sport, hang out, have some food, beer. Let's let's keep us alive. Awesome. Do that Back for all your music. Do that for all music venues. Not just absolutely for all of them. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, yeah. Pag. Have a great night, man. Yeah. Thanks for Thanks. joining us. No problem. So as Pag mentioned, uh, one of those artists that has been on some of the recent local showcases uh, over at Holy Diver is Mr. Dalton James, who is our first act to join us tonight. Dalton, how you doing, man? Good. How are you? <laughs> doing great. <laughs> It looks like uh, you, you had a gig at Holy Diver pretty recently before the concert calendars all ground to a halt, yeah? Yeah, I did a solo thing there. It's really fun. Nice. So I know you've got uh, a lot of songs that you wrote uh, last year as you've kind of gotten started performing. Uh, you said you wrote something like 25 songs last year, is that right? Yeah, I was on kind of a songwriting binge and just starting out and I felt like I needed a lot of songs to play I didn't want to just play like uh like three song sets I wanted to do like hours like or like hour sets you know mm -hmm. so you're working on trying to kind of get some of those songs on onto record now that we've had a lot of time a lot of time on quarantine yeah I have so many that I don't really I need, I need to finish, like, recording studio versions of them so I can move on to the next mm -hmm. the next project of ideas and stuff like that. Well, speaking of three song sets, man, we're very glad to have you play one for us tonight. The floor is yours. Dalton James. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> this first one is uh, it's called Renaissance. It's going to be on a single that I'm putting out soon. <laughs> i 
first song um, next song has a harmonica in it <clears throat> this is a 
another song that's going to be on the single. I'm pretty sure singles could have two songs on them. Unless that's just an EP, but I, I would call it a single, I guess. second song and my third song set um the last one's a bit of a long one it also has harmonica in it
Okay. <laughs> no.
Here's Jill for the kill Oh, for your gun The red rings toward the sun Some kind of sinful thrill Protecting what nature be killed But those visions Brought about their ends with certain pain, certain There you go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Dalton, there's something very appropriate about playing harp on the rack and having Bob Dylan right over your shoulder there, kind of keeping watch. The, the per perfect visual. <laughs> yeah, he's got a he's got a harmonica too. <laughs> yeah. On his, uh, yeah on the that was that. Uh, Dalton James, <laughs> man, thank you so much. And uh, you can follow him at Dalton James Music on Instagram. Dalton, thanks for being with us, man. Thanks. Appreciate being on the show. It's great to have you. Take care. Stay safe. Dalton James, again, uh, at Dalton James Music on Instagram. You can follow him. It's going to bring us right to our second act of the night, which is our friends from St. Juniper. St. Juniper, how are you guys doing? Hey, good. Doing good. How are you? Doing good. So I know you guys uh, had just put out a brand new single, uh, Big Brain, on Spotify when the world kind of went to hell. What did that do to your to your plans for the song? Um, it kind of switched a lot of stuff up, gave us more time to, I think it's given us time to, to work on a lot more material to release later on, but it's, you know, we had a lot of stuff that was like, given like a lot of opportunities given to us and then we kind of, you know, can't do anything with them now, so. Yeah. So is playing acoustic fairly new for you guys? I know it's not your normal, uh, normal way of doing business. No. Acoustic is actually where we started. We uh, we we started out like playing at like cafes um, and just, I mean like the Big Tree and like Shady's and other cafes around California, and just playing like country and folk music. So a lot of them, like actually all three songs, not Big Brain, but the other two that you hear on Spotify, which we'll play them, they were all folk songs before they were anything rock. So yeah. Awesome. We're looking. Like we're looking forward to hearing and we will uh, turn the stage over to you guys. St. Juniper, thanks for being with us.
It's called Feel. It's uh, unreleased right now, but we're working to release that one soon. So. Uh, this next song is called Out of Place. You have to pardon me because my um, top string got extremely out of tune while I was doing that. Um, Amanda here actually wrote that song. Uh, this is my sister and my brother, two of them. I have six siblings. Um, Amanda is 16, and Elias is 23, and I'm 19. So case you care about our ages um yeah let's see we we started out just doing like just doing folk music yeah a lot yeah mostly just all folk music and you know any like, like we said earlier just any coffee shops we could you know find and play in jam ed and yeah and holy divers offered us a lot of shows at their at the venue there and we love holy diver and everybody there and yeah great staff so thank everybody for putting us on here so this next one's called Out of Place. This is on Spotify.
This sure reminds me of you. This is our first release. St. Juniper, thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks for having of course, us. yeah, thanks for having us on. So a couple of those so songs uh, St. Juniper just played are available on Spotify, and um, you can follow them at St. Juniper on Facebook. It's the best way to get in touch with them. We are going to vault right directly into our last act of the evening, 
and we're going to jump right into Flight Mongoose. Hello, we're not from Sacramento, we're from England. We're from mm. England, yeah. Well, we got a bit of a song for you. <laughs> you Bemelis, a million dollars. Demo us a million dollars. Million, <laughs> a million dollars. We're going to warm up, like, warm up with some Coldplay. We don't, oh, our songs are really short, don't worry. We can't write a song over three minutes. Uh, the song goes, uh... Look at the stars, look how they shine for you. And every day they do. It was all yellow. I got it long. I wrote a song for you. The water things that you do. Yeah, it was all yellow. Yeah. Venmo us a million dollars. Yeah. Uh, this is an original song. Hope you guys are having a blessed COVID. <laughs> Didn't make sense. <laughs> uh, this song is called Diamonds and Pearls. I actually wrote it for Mick Jagger, but he hasn't got back to me. You know. There we go. Actually, uh, planned on playing an electric set. Didn't really have the equipment. We're poor. We need a million dollars, like to get a laptop. Rainbow was a million dollars. A million dollars, man. 
Mom. We actually have a special appearance on this next song. We got a special guest. He's gonna pop out. Special, like, I don't know. Why don't you guys talk? I hate talking. <laughs> Let's play. This song's called As Long As I'm With You. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro.
Oh, we got some new shirts, too. Check out those shirts. We got some nice shirts with our model here, Evan. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to work a camera, man. Hello. Yeah, now, that's how you that. start a three-day weekend. What else do we have new? Oh, we're putting out some new records. We're going to put out a record here in July. Hopefully. July. Thank you, Flag Flag Mongoose. Peace and love. Thank you guys so much. Flight Mongoose. Again, that's how you start off a three-day weekend. Flight Mongoose, St. Juniper, Dalton James, thank you all so much. And a huge thanks to uh, Anthony Paganelli, Pag from Holy Diver, for putting together our lineup tonight. Uh, we know, again, a lot of restaurants opening and have fun this weekend, but everyone stay safe and look out for each other out there. Happy Memorial Day. Good night, everyone.